Thank you, President, Madam High Representative and colleagues. This is the last time we debate the annual CFSP report in the current configuration of the Parliament and uh, with yourself as our High Representative. And as we take stock, we need no reminders of the urgent need for strong, strategic European foreign and security policy. With a confident Russia bullying not only its own citizens, but also member states of the EU and vital neighbours through politicising trade, we ought to stand firmly and take care not to be played apart. The US is choosing to no longer be the world's superpower as it seeks to take a step back, and perhaps this is understandable, but who takes the place of leadership in defending and promoting free societies, free markets, and most of all, free people? Especially with regard to human rights and fundamental freedoms, the US has lost credibility, and this should be Europe's moment. We can use the transatlantic trade and investment partnership both to strengthen our alliance, but not without cementing our values. The Middle East is more fragile than ever. With the average age of 26, a young generation needs opportunities for self-determination, yet hopelessness and also extremism lure. Syria, of course, represents the most horrific of examples. The horror and the suffering should not be forgotten, and while there are no easy solutions, certainly the US-Russia initiative to deal with the chemical weapons is not a solution for all problems. And the breaking of the European weapon embargo under the leadership of France and the UK wasn't either. I'm happy with European leadership when it comes to humanitarian aid. We take our responsibility, but we must do more because I'm afraid we haven't seen the worst yet. A divided Europe is a weak Europe that is played apart. And with our bases not in order, opportunities are difficult to reap. I believe we must test the words of opening by Iran, and the EU needs its own strategy. We should not merely be a facilitator for talks between the US and Iran, as the US Congress is pushing for more sanctions. This is the moment for Europe to act independently and forcefully. We must take our responsibility militarily. Soft power and hard power go hand in hand, and I'm afraid we should push harder to put the silver threat of human rights back on top of the agenda. Gracias. Gracias, colega.